Isaiah chapter 13. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see, lift up a banner upon the high mountain to them, and shake the hand, for they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my holy ones, I have also called my mighty ones for anger, even those who rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts gathers an army for the battle. They came from a far country, from the end of the heavens, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation, to destroy the whole land. Howl, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as destruction from the Almighty. Therefore all hands shall be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain like a woman who travails. They shall be amazed at one another. Their faces shall be like flames. Behold, the day of the Lord comes, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land waste, and it shall destroy its sinners out of it. For the stars of heaven and their constellations shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in its going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the pride of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall be moved out of its place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as sheep that no man takes up. They shall each man turn to his own people, and each one flee into his own land. Every one who is found shall be thrust through, and every one who is joined to them shall fall by their sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be robbed, their wives raped. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, who shall not think anything of silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not pity the children.